For many years now, Unity has been an engine that has been looked down upon by a lot of its users, mainly because of its graphics being bad. In this video, I'll be talking through why Unity has gained such a bad name, and if it's still worth using in 2017, coming right up. Hey what is going on guys, it is Psycho or Sam here and welcome back to another video guys and today I'm here with a brand new commentary which is going to be a little bit controversial once again because if you've been following my channel lately you must have realized that I do indeed love these controversial videos because it feels like I'm sort of running an open discussion with you guys and you can sort of discuss it with me agree with me or disagree with me in the comment section below so if you want to agree or disagree let me know in the comment section below and if you have your own tips and tricks for whether unity is a good engine or not let me know in the comment section below once again guys but without further ado let's get started with this video so unity has been free ever since it got released compared to its competitors that had their users spend some money on the engines because of the specific reason unity has always been a point for game developers to kind of start off their careers since it was released for absolutely free it raised some questions such as why. People wanted to know why such an engine would be released for free. Maybe it was a bad software, maybe it wasn't worth any money, or perhaps even worse, it was in such a low level that it would not be able to compete with other engines that are in the game industry already. However, the truth is that it was released for free in order to give the developers a complete freedom of creativity. It was unusual for such an engine to be released with no price tag, especially considering that it supported 3D worlds already back then and it had also been released with full documentation covering its usage and this is way back in 2005 when version 1.0 got released and obviously there was also a pro version of Unity so the standard one that was for free was called for free edition but there was also a pro edition that supported image effects and a few other features that were actually exclusive to the pro version but still it was such an engine that was released for free and it was completely free to use with no restrictions except for these kind of conditions that they already had added Besides that, Unity 3D supported everything that its competitors supported, yet the Unity Technologies team didn't ask for straight money. They had this policy that if someone wanted to create and publish a commercial project using their engine, they would charge a percentage of the earnings made by the developers just as the Unit Unreal Engine team does. Speaking of which, it was a good deal for indie developers to begin the development of their games. Since indie developers didn't have big budgets and their pockets full of money when starting off, it was undeniably the easiest solution to their biggest problem. Once again, the only catch with Unity was that the free version did not support image effects or shadows casted by point and spotlights. That could, however, However, be fixed by using third-party methods developed by Unity's community. However, since the engine was free, it was available to pretty much everyone. That also includes people who wanted to make a quick game to earn some bucks, those who wanted to make a serious game and build a career, and even customers of other game engines. It was free. Nobody lost anything except for some minor time spent on the engine. Because it was widely available and open to anyone, people started using Unity for their small projects that were not qualified as titles that were worthy of bigger price tags. Thus, there are far more games developed through Unity than its competitors such as Unreal Engine. It's worth noting though, most of the games developed on Unity might be significantly smaller compared to games on Unreal Engine. We'll also step back a bit and look at something I talked about earlier, people who want to make games for some quick bucks. Since Unity was free, no one had to spend a penny on the engine, meaning they could develop a game that would be rather more clickbaity than playable, yet charge quite a bit of money from the customers without in return losing anything. That resulted in an array of poorly developed games being released through Unity. And what do you think happened with Unity's marketing strategies that went really good at first? They started going downhill. You see, being the source of tons of poorly developed games is no fun. It results in a bad reputation for you since you seem like the reason games with lower graphics can't actually have higher graphics. No one used to look at the developer and go, that's a bad design or you should work on the game's graphics more. They saw Unity as the engine that did not support good graphics at all. One thing that I think was not thought through properly by UT is the fact that image effects were not available in the free version. That resulted in far worse graphics than what people can achieve today. The mass release of poorly developed games combined with Unity's free version not offering image effects that was a very bad combination. And it also resulted in Unity gaining a much worse name than it already had. And don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to be like greedy or anything and saying Unity didn't release this for free and that and that. I am actually really thankful that Unity decided to release the engine for free in the first place, but it was just a very bad combination of having no image effects, which 
made you look like the engine that didn't support any higher graphics. And then having this mass release of poorly developed games, it was just so bad for the engine. Even though time has passed and Unity has upgraded the system so much that it's being used to develop bigger titles now, it still keeps a portion of its bad name and reputation it gained over the years. People still find it easy to blame it on the engine instead of analyzing and solving the issues and problems with their scenes. Bad graphics in a game? Oh, probably Unity being shitty again. That's wrong. Unity has always supported great graphics. Even though image effects were not available for the public use with the free version, you could still achieve some pretty cool visuals as especially using replicas and compensating components that were similar to the image effects represented in the paid version of Unity. But it was easy to miss such things for people who decided not to spend a little time on the engine and do their research. Blaming and moving on was the easiest hand to play. What I'm trying to say is that you should not join the hatred bag on towards Unity just because a lot of other people are already on it. Instead, you should give Unity a try and see for yourself how much it has been upgraded compared to its earlier versions, especially if you've already used the earlier ones. If you put some time into the engine, thoroughly learn it and consider developing a game with high expectations, meaning you want to have high graphics, good quality and visuals and audio, you'll realize how good it actually is. Don't take the old, poorly developed games as examples when judging Unity. It's biased and outdated. And I am not trying to throw any other game engines under the bus or anything when praising Unity. I'm just saying that Unity is a very, very good and powerful engine that is very worth using even in 2017. Actually, especially in 2017, because with the latest release to the public, 5.6, it's been so much better. The image effects have been upgraded. I already made a tutorial, which was like a semi tutorial. I'll link it in the description below if you want to check it out if you haven't already. It was really, really good, and I really am love in love with the new post processing effects. And obviously, there's also an asset store that you can use to download for free and purchase some assets that are going to compensate for whatever is missing. But those are my two cents on Unity, and also a little bit of fact for everyone here. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Thank you very much for watching. I I hope to see you in the comment section down below. I want to see what you guys think about Unity, other game engines, and whenever you compare Unity to other game engines, I want to know what you think of and what you th see in Unity as something that can be actually improved because this is very interesting for me since I'm also a very active user of many different game engines including Unity and Unreal Engine so it's really interesting for me to see what my community thinks of it. So hit me up in the comment section down below guys and also I was planning to make some sort of giveaway videos here and there um, not planning to start with this one yet but I'm actually going to start very soon and I also want to let you guys know that my website, my new website actually is under construction now. So I'm developing it every day and I'm going to finish it like this weekend probably. So it's going to be very pumped up because I'm going to be releasing some free assets on there, meaning my own assets, scripts, 3D models, whatever. And by time, obviously, whenever I make a new video, the, the level designs, etc., if I use my own models, they are all going to be released for free there. So make sure to go to that website when I actually link it. I'm not going to link it yet because it's not finished, obviously, but you can still check it out and see what, how the design looks. But when it's finished, I'm actually going to make a video so you can go ahead and register then. But that is pretty much it for me, guys. Let me know in the comment section below what you think and hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. And I'm going to catch you guys later. Peace out.